What do you know? What do you say? Welcome back to another episode of Winding Away with Corey and Ray. Here we are today to talk about a wine. He's turned into Dr. Seuss. And I'm feeling loose. <laughs> today we are going to talk about a wine that would I think meet a lot of palates. This is a very popular area it is. for this particular varietal. I think they just recently celebrated their 55th year growing Pinot Noir. And of wow. course, I'm referring to the Willamette Valley in Oregon. Or Oregon. Right. Or Ora. The, de the big debate. How do you say it? But the Pacific Northwest. Oregon. Oregon. Pinot Noirs are very hard to grow successfully. That's why the places that do can usually fetch a nice little mm -mm -mm for their wine because Pinot Noir is very finicky, has very thin skin. It doesn't like too much sun. It doesn't want a lot of water. It's a real pain in the tuchus. So Unlike like Cabernet, <laughs> some call me the Pinot Noir of wine people. Of our family. Well, I don't want to tell you what they call me. <laughs> Makes me want to move to Oregon. But Oregon, Oregon, Aura. <laughs> they grow Pinot Noirs very successfully, and they are delicious. Yes, and they're so famous for it. We picked up here a 2014 from the Hunt and Harvest. Very, very well known. And uh, retails for in the neighborhood of $30 a bottle. <laughs> Corey, Corey likes when I bring those bottles. Um, and, you know, very much what you would expect from a Willamette Valley. So, Corey, why don't you give us your impressions? It's delicious. Pinot Noir is one of my favorites. You get so much, like a burst of fruit, like a fruit salad in your mouth. But it, I mean, it really, well, a fruit salad made with cherries and berries and plums. <laughs> that had all been cooked a little while. Well, not, but it, see, it's not very, it's not a lot of heavy cooked fruits like you get in some different varietals. I, I like it. I wouldn't call it super fruity, however, but. Um, it's not very it's dry. Got, I mean, it's got wonderful color. I mean, look at that. And it has some legs, so there's a little bit of body to it. And it's got some, you know, it's a 2014, so we've got some years on oh, it as well. Um, an absolute perfect example of what you would expect from the Willamette Valley. This this is fantastic. If you are a Pinot Noir fan, which many, many people are, this is definitely a go-to. Now, how hard is this bottle, you think, to find? Hunt and Harvest is not... It's a common name in most. It's not really hard to find. It's not, you know, not a pothic red. But I would say that, you know, in, in most of your finer wine shops, you'd be able to find this one. So Huntington Harvest. Hunt and Harvest. Oh, Hunt and Harvest. Hunt and Harvest. Got it. <laughs> or Huntington well, Harvest. Well, you see, if I thought you said Huntington... They might have heard the same thing. Well, they could rewind. <laughs> they could. They could watch it over and over again. But now we know it's Hunt and Harvest. So if you are looking for it, searching for it on Vivino or Wine Searcher or something like that. Well, you'll have to hunt it. And then once you find it, harvest. Get several bottles. Drink away. Figure out how to pronounce Oregon. And enjoy it. <laughs> and message us and let us know what is the correct way to say Oregon. And tell us if you actually get any of the wines that we recommend and what you think about them, please. I would love it. We would. What would you uh, serve this with? This can go with anything. This is one of those wines that you don't even need to pair it with anything. It's easy drinking, um, but I think it would be phenomenal with certain cheeses that have a really nice pungent flavor. I would love this with prime rib. Really? A little au jus, a little horseradish sauce. I think this would be perfect. But this would also go well with chicken, with pork. Yeah. I think it would pair pretty much with anything. I mean, and, and you know, reds go well with seafood. People have this idea again, white seafood. And, and we always say not so much if it's not so heavy and it's something you prefer. And it also depends on how you're having your seafood. I mean, if you're having shrimp fra diablo, this would be really, really good. Right. But if you're grilling or baking or putting something in a lemon butter sauce, different story, it might interact a little bit. So you have to remember what you're drinking it with and what ingredients are in the food because sometimes 
it doesn't react too well. But the Hunt and Harvest 2014 Pinot Noir, perfect example of why Willamette Valley is so well known for their Pinot Noirs and why they get such worldwide recognition. Yep. Run out, spend the 30 bucks, treat yourself, get a nice bottle. And as we always say, good wine. Good friends. Great, great life. life.